It is Heidi. Heidi, and, Heidi, I have your oh, drink. Thank, thank you, your drink. Jamie. Thank oh, you. Yeah. I really should not be eating peanuts before I go live. Well, I was going to get you more than, but I thought since uh, we're going live, you better just have water. Thank you. Yes, yes. Water is yes. water is appropriate yes. at this time. Maybe they're maybe they're getting their drink and they're going to sit and relax. And That's right. That's right. And, and you hear those noises in the back? I do hear the noises. You know what that is? That is somebody finishing their long arm, their quilt on the long arm. And that is an exciting thing for us. I'm gonna take one more drink. <laughs> it's music to your ears. It is Especially music. this time of year, because it could be somebody finishing a spe very special gift for somebody or a donation for, or getting something quilted to give, yes. make something. Yeah, absolutely. So it's very fun. But welcome. Welcome to Hen and Chick Studio. This is where we're at this evening. We're in Conrad, Iowa. We certainly hope that you are um, here to enjoy the evening with us. As always, one of the things we love is being able to inspire people from coast to coast. Yeah. So one of the first questions we always ask, and we hope you'll um, add your notes in the comments, uh, where are you from? Where because are you watching from? Where are you watching yeah. from? Because well, I, I know that. Well, I'm interrupting you. That's right. I'm so sorry. Jump but in. I know there's some people that watch that are from this area originally, but now they've located other places. But there's some people that are watching that have never been to this area. That's right. So it's always fun to hear the That's stories right. behind it. And too. I see several f friends and family, uh, familiar names coming up. We've already got Iowa, Missouri. And you know, Marilyn the other night, uh, last night, I went live. And I loved it. She did exactly what we ask everybody to do. She tagged her friends oh, yeah. and said, hey, Heidi's going live. Thank you, Marilyn. We love that. And we hope you'll do it again tonight. Yeah. So if you know somebody <laughs> uh, who might enjoy an hour of oh, entertainment, absolute entertainment, entertainment, because you never be. know what's going to happen yeah. on live TV. <laughs> um, it, so if you know somebody who would enjoy this, either share the post or tag them mm -hmm. um, depending on where you're watching from we certainly know we've got people on facebook and my computer's off to the side here instead of in front of us because of the way we have to move things tonight um and so if i keep looking to the side i'm just yeah. checking on i'm um, hoping that everybody we've got arkansas we've got cedar falls oh my gosh ames um and and marilyn is tagging her friend i love it <laughs> um and i know they're passing by here very and very quickly from this area i know that too as we're watching yes. the names come up and, and so too. we love um having you all along okay there is a lot to go lot. through tonight mm -hmm. and if you see the wandering dog that's lucy again she's uh checking it out i see her wandering through here um so again it's pure entertainment you never know what'll happen um, but uh, a couple of things about uh, tonight. First of all, we have something exciting to tell you at oh, the end. Oh, that's right, Heidi. I at forgot the end. all about. Yes, yeah, so stay tuned. Yes, because, yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. Gonna be, that's going to be fun. So you want to be, yes. be, stick with us and definitely want to tag your friends on that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so, sure. so there's always something going to be going on throughout the entire show, as you know. How is this going to work? We have our clicker with us tonight. Um, so as we're showing products, we certainly are going to be clicking those products, making it as easy as possible on this platform to be able for you to purchase. You can always call us on the phone during business hours. You can always visit us in person. You can just go straight to our website. But if you like the comment sold um, version of uh, the of being able to purchase things, and we just have entertainment going on behind <laughs> so the sorry. camera too. Lucy is under the bed. Oh, now. she went under the bed yeah. now. Okay, well that would be under the bed. But anyway, yeah. okay, also I do want to give a little forewarning that we are going to be moving some tonight. Yes. So you, so you're Lots of set see. changes. Yep. Um, Jackie would be timing us on the set changes, <laughs> but make sure we're getting them done efficiently and effectively. So stick with us and hang hang, hang tight and during those So times if, too. like, Jackie, like, rings a bell, does that mean we weren't fast yeah, enough or something? Like reset and do it again. Okay, okay. Make us do. Oh, okay, well, uh, we'll just yeah. keep practicing. Yeah. Okay, well, we're only going to do this one time tonight, so yep. we're hopefully going to get it right. Um, so anyway, so we're going to click the item. If you're on Facebook, which I see a lot of you are on Facebook, you certainly are going to put sold 100, whatever that item item is and you know what just let's to make just it start. let's give a let's get our first clicker going here and we're going to be talking so much tonight about our uh, of course our free pattern uh square dance and so th that's what i've got up there uh so if you would then type in sold 101 all right if you're on facebook that sends you a message in your messenger it says add to cart then you go to the website you have to follow through and actually purchase the item 
in order for it to be yours. Just typing in sold and the number on Facebook. Does not ensure that you That get... does not in guarantee mm -hmm. that you're going to get that, okay? So I wanna make sure that. And one thing, while we are on Square free Dance, pattern. it's a free pattern. It comes up as $1, just the way the system works. Yep. But when you go to the checkout, it is a free downloadable right. pattern. And we'll always try to make sure we tell you what is free um, when it is mm -hmm. and that, about that dollar thing, but that is something that is very important. Um, and so of course, uh, the other thing is flat rate shipping of $8.50. And it's we bargain. are getting good. Yes. We are getting good at packing, squishing, like finding the right the right delivery service to get to you. Mm -hmm. um, and I love it that um, Andrea has deemed our um, delivery services freaky fast. Yes. And so I'm, I'm <laughs> loving that. Um, and so, you know what? It's one of those things. We know you're excited about any of the stuff that we're showing. And of course, we want to make sure that you um, have get the chance to get it as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay. And it is fun because we get, I like the challenge to get it packed in those boxes. I like that challenge. Absolutely. And I'm seeing um, still more people coming on and keep the comments coming again. I can't always see all of them. Right. Um, and, but if you and want. And if they do have a question, please put it in there. Again, we may and, not be able to get to it, but we will try our right. best to be paying attention because if you saw something, no. I don't know if you mentioned it, Heidi, but if you are on the live shopping yep. at Hen and Chick Studio, it will give a it's running much easier, list. Much easier to see that you that, can go back and view yes. if you had a question. About and I do something. see that some people are on our website. If you if you haven't been to our website to see this, basically, if you go to our website, henandchickstudio.com, mm -hmm. the video player when we're live shows up on any page. There's also a live shopping tab. You can click on that. The bigger player pulls up. So you can see everything, the comments, the whole list of products like right. Jamie is talking mm -hmm. about. And that is also the page where you can go back and watch it. So if you are not ever a uh, not able to do a live, watch a live when we are up and running, you can always go back there and watch it again. Because I know some people like to go back yeah. for the inspiration. And, and one stuff. thing, before we get started, as we go through tonight, because I was just telling the girls this. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. Right? So if you're on the naughty or night list. But did, you, did you notice that? I did. And you were on the... I'm a drummer. You were, you were back and forth on I know. That was really I know. Good. I, 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 that was really good. Okay. So anyway, um, you might want to get your notebook out because most of the stuff we're going through tonight would also make, in fact, Stacey been taking pictures of the things she wants Setting to send to her husband. Her husband. Because we're going to be showing, as we're we're going to go Lots back over great. our first three weeks of our Festa Fun so long, kind of a recap on that, but a lot of good little gifts that you could either give or maybe want in your stocking letter receipt if you're on that nice list, which I'm sure everyone is. I know I am. I'm sure yeah. you are too, Heidi, yeah. right? You're on the nice list. Oh, so I think so. Get your pet, pad of paper out or start your wish list or just add it to your cart and say Merry Christmas to myself. Very so, good. And we've good. got Arizona and Carol. Thank you for also thinking that our um, our delivery services are freaky <laughs> fast. That's wonderful because, again, we want to get this stuff to you. Yeah. Okay, let's so get, let's we are going to start to talk about the festive fun, fun so long that we have been working on for the last four weeks. Yes. Where have the last four weeks gone? Flown. Okay, so this is where we're going to start. So first of all, you got the free pattern, yep. right? And you downloaded the free pattern. Hundreds of you have downloaded the free pattern, and they're Literally still coming hundreds. in, and mm -hmm. we love it. If you choose to not participate in our sew along, that's okay. But if you are, we are going to have prizes, and we're going to talk more about that. So step one is to download your free pattern. Step two is to become a member of our Facebook creative community, mm -hmm. because it is so much fun to see that interaction in our community it is really that it's a community and the questions that are asked and the inspiration yes that's right and mm -hmm. to see what everybody is doing and and so that is a great place so you can join we do ask you a couple basic questions which we'd love to know the answers um it's basically where did you find us um what kinds of crafts do you like to do is it just quilting or quilting and and what's your favorite color because i love to know what your favorite color is because it's fun to see you know right the rainbow of things okay do you know so, my favorite color what? Well, I always do. Say, I know your favorite. I don't color? know. I'm I don't asking. know if I. I don't know if I do. Oh, well, I guess you better pay better attention. I better pay better attention to that. <laughs> I'm not sure because you you are you wear a lot of colors. So I, I can't do. say that. I do. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, what but, is it? What are you gonna tell us? Well, I always say pink. Because oh. I mean, I do like pink, but but I love coral, and then oh, I just think I coral is such a figure. I love I that color. Um, but also, obviously, I love red. 
Yes. Especially when accented with gold. So, yes. you know. Oh, I know. We and, and you love red too. And yes. yes red Abs. is a great color. Anyway. Okay. Okay. All right. So now next on the list, we are going to, um, uh, oh, one more thing before we tell you, start recapping. Okay. Um, Back on the Stash Buster page, oh yeah, um, is where we are putting the videos of all of this. Mm -hmm. We are also creating a playlist on YouTube so that you'll have all four videos in a playlist, and we'll put that link up on the website page as well, so you can click easily click on that. Um, and then Janie started today, yes. And um, for those of you who are have uploaded your um, finished Completed top. top um, to the link that is is there, then that's where the that's where we get the images to put on our website. So you can go back and be inspired yep, by and what there everybody are is some doing. up there already. So if you have not turned it in, the form is live. So you click on that link, upload your photo. We'll yep. get it on there as soon as we can. Um, just know we know you're looking forward to seeing your picture there. Sometimes it, you know, we're mostly a two plus half. Yes. show around here that's so. right that's right and we'll I'm, so I'm usually the half on <laughs> the morning and then another half on the yes. afternoon you know some days are better than others yes. okay so uh let's start week one fabric selection and uh we talked a lot about fat quarter bundles in this particular project it called for i'm gonna grab it so i don't say it wrong uh eight fat quarters and then a yard, basically a yard and a third for the sashing strip and the outer border. Mm -hmm. And so uh, fat quarter bundles are a great way to start um, if you do not have a stash to work from. Right, and we just picked a couple. This is a postcard Christmas. It's a Christmas fat quarter bundle. Uh, another one that you could work. This one has actually 12 fat quarters in it. The farm girl um, red bundle. But I also saw how people were using like the extra fat quarters out of this bundle. For, for example, to make a scrappy border. Mm -hmm. So if you have only fat quarters, this pattern is still doable without that Absolutely. extra yardage. And that's the thing. Um, in our particular sew along, we're asking that you make it the same size or larger. So as long as you are doing that, you're going to be great. Yep. And so I just picked another one that had more, again, that you could create um, that the whole, you wouldn't have to get the background fabric. Correct. For the border because you have plenty of fat quarter bundles to choose from. So, yes, fabric selection. Go back and watch oh. that video. We'd love to do it if you ever have a so help, pretty. Need help with that or a challenge. So, with that. so pretty. Okay, so then we rolled right into week two. Week two was we cutting. talked about cutting. And um, we around here really believe uh, your cutting sets the foundation for your entire quilt. So, you want to be accurate when you are cutting. Um, and those. What we love is these stripology rulers and how you just scanned the squared and then the XL ruler. I'll grab that. Yep. And it's the kind of thing where uh, different rulers do different things. I believe this one would cook my supper if I could actually use <laughs> all of the functions for it. Yeah. Um, but we've done lots of videos mm -hmm. on these. We're not going to talk in depth about them tonight. Right. Um, but in the new, do you know what I did today? What? I have created a Hen and Chick Studio binge reel. Oh. On YouTube. So, and I posted it on the Facebook page. Oh. And one of the classes that I included in there was our cutting class. Oh, yeah. Because it's so good. So good. So if you need like four hours of binge watching of Hen and Chick Studio, <laughs> I have created <laughs> the perfect video for you. Yes. All right. And so then there's also rulers like our Quilter Select, which have the non-stick glide mm -hmm. and love those for um, other sorts of cuts. Um, they're still very important. Yep. And then adding the gypsy gripper to the top of it to me is uh, it may take a little while to get used to, but there's a safety issue and also the pressure of spreading it out over the top of your cutting ruler because it's suction cups to the top of it. Correct. So another great item. And this we've been out price of price stock. Price. They're mm -hmm. back in stock, but I know they're going to go fast. So if you were one of them that wanted a gypsy gripper, now's the time to um, order those yep. and get those um, coming in. Absolutely. Okay. And so those were just a few of um, the cutting tips. Again, you can go back and watch any of the videos. And then the next, um, the next uh, week, last week, was all about piecing. And mm -hmm. let's start with a quarter inch. We've got Absolutely. to have a quarter inch, um, good quarter inch. Uh, we showed, talked about the Perfect Seam Guide, which mm -hmm. is a product from Celine Perkins at um, Perkins Dry Goods. 
We love what she um, does in general with patterns. Oh, I'm sorry, the, the girls are trying to get Lucy to come Lucy out. Does, does Lucy bench. not want to come out? <laughs> Isn't She'll come out if you call her. Go get a treat. She'll come. She she'll come out. Um, She's still not coming out. And, okay, anyway, um, oh, and they'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, when the door opens and she thinks somebody's going home, she yeah. will go. There we go. She will go. Um, okay, so perfect. Um, uh, the Perkins Dry Goods and the Perfect Quarter Inch Seam free class on our website under the inspiration tab um uh, well worth watching well worth watching to, to perfect your quarter of inch seams other once you get your sewing machine set up um, then it's important that you're using some tools to help you for example a good pin and we talked a lot in the video about my favorite patchwork fine pins um and they are thin and they bend a little bit easier but they're perfect for getting the small bite um, when you need to pin um, seams together and make sure that right. they don't and we could um, talk a lot about this we're going to move at a fast pace tonight because we oh um, we got so much we have so much and we could talk in depth with why this is good but that is why you can go back and watch our tips and tricks for that right. and um our right. previous video explains us yes. two weeks ago and so those are some magic pins that we just put mm -hmm. up there another product that we do carry um, that makes it uh, great for pinning. They've got a different end on them that is kind of nice. Um, other tools that we like for cutting, of course, are our rotary cutters. And you know, sometimes there's nothing like a fresh rotary cutting yep. blade. Absolutely. Um, but then, of course, sometimes you got to have the different like colors. Like the fun colored ones. Um, I mean, who doesn't want, I mean, you know, an ergonomic, these are 45, this is 60 millimeters. Yep. So that's referring to the size of the blade. Yep. Um, either of these work well with the stripology, but Absolutely. I mean, look at you got yellow, you got blue, you got teal. I mean, who doesn't want colors. a different so two color? Two different kinds of uh, the ergonomic or what you might call more traditional on those handles too. Yes. You can learn more about yes. that again. But yes. like I said, we're going fast through it. You maybe you're making your Christmas list right now because everybody loves those. Yeah. Um, and, and then it, of course, and we talk even as we're going to go into the next category. Um, to, actually, these are the. Wait, hold these are the yellow head pins. Yes, one more set of pins. There we go. Um, one more Which set of pins. Those ones could go with our long arming. Oh yes. Oh, we, oh yes. Well, hold them. Put them back in yep. here. Then yep. I'm sorry. She's okay. Jumping ahead. And should see. Look at. See the door is going to open and she's going to go. You're going to go right <laughs> out that door. You got it. All right. See this is. I'm telling you live TV. It's time to go home, Lucy. Real people. It's a, time to go home. Ahead, there you go. There so also goes. fun pair of scissors. Um, I happen to love this kind, but. Of course, who doesn't need some sparkle and pinky sparkle on that on the handle? Yes, fun gift so to give or receive. Need and these are fabric. important when you're cutting and you're piecing and when you're finishing because there's times when you've got to cut um, various things and it's just nice to have a good pair of scissors. It, and again, absolutely. And there are some people who like collect scissors. That's yeah. a whole other thing. Well, because you lose them and then you find them later, so you that's need right. multiple pairs of that's them. That's right. Okay. Okay. So tonight, that's kind of, I mean, about piecing, I think yep. we've touched on yep. piecing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So tonight we're going to really be focusing on finishing. And when we're finishing, let's start with um, sort of the end in mind, and that is binding. Yep. Let's talk a little bit about binding. Yep. Let's because, get back once because what we didn't we did not talk about oh. um, pressing is important when you're piecing as well. We recommend obviously if you haven't oh, used it before, the wool mats do. Yep. Um, and there's advantages to using the wool mat again. Um, to help you be successful. So sorry, yep. I went backwards. That's okay. That. That's okay. But binding and yes. and and since the girls are gone, I'm gonna I'm gonna love on them just a minute. Okay, right? Yeah. So they're 15 years old. I have twin daughters. If you don't know that, and I think I've trained them well. They make the best binding wools. Yeah. And and every quilt top, when the top is done, then they the binding make, is done. Yep. So we have they our are binding. They're very organized. They are very organized mm -hmm. that way. And I love it. This is exactly how they finished. This mm -hmm. is the scrappy binding for the quilt that they just loaded on the long arm for us before escaping with Lucy. Yeah. Um, and binding, um, uh, binding is a um some people's favorite and some people's not. And right. I think it's just about the experience. And of course, uh, there's different ways to bind. We are not going to get into um, uh, lots and lots of different methods. Or lots of details about it. Because uh, you're going to find on our website, and I think, Heidi, you made a, it is in the binge watch playlist. My favorite class that we have held was with Terry Atkinson oh, yes, of Atkinson it is. Design. And if you fast forward, uh, it was actually in finishing your table runners, but everything she says in that video is a great tip as you're finishing your festive fun so long or any of your other projects that you might be doing. 
that video um, again is called finishing your table runners it's in our binge playlist it's on youtube we yes. have it on our website under the inspiration tab my favorite class in fact when we had retreaters up there and they were struggling with binding i said have you watched this and we got pulled it pulled up, up on youtube and watched it you have to fast forward through the video i think it i should have looked it up it might be about the 35 minute mark i could be wrong on that probably am wrong on that actually yeah, um, i don't and, like it if it was yeah uh, you know no you know and, go and back she and... starts talking about binding remember there's different ways you're, you're getting to the same result many different methods out there to get to the yes. same result yes. but i love that video and so it is there for you as well yeah. so we have just a quick um how to for mm -hmm. repair your binding strips and I'm just going to, did you scan this? I scanned it. Okay. It is up. That is a free download that is available on our website. Um, and if you come in the store, we're always glad to print it off. Yep. Usually we have some copies under the table, but we like to use two and a half inch binding strips. Oh, some people like two and a fourth. Some people like, and I tend to go more two and a fourth depending on the project. Yes. And yeah. so there's it's always personal preference. Yeah, personal preference. But we're going to talk about standard two and a half inch mm -hmm. binding strips. And it's as simple as starting with the fact that you are going to um, join them end to end. But it's sort of really not end to end mm -hmm. because some people might think of that as like literally uh, sewing them straight and folding it over. I like to sew mm -hmm. all of my strips. Um, on the diagonal mm -hmm. and you might be able to find yep. a seam there and so I would literally lay them like across here and I would sew from this point um, down to this point point. and do we need to get closer can yeah. you get closer with yep. that um, and so that if I were sewing there so that when I open this up that it literally is at a 45 degree angle and then the seams are going to be. Honey, um, can you show it? I'll show oh, it both oh, ways. Yep. So here we go. And um, okay, so there I am. How that's how I would lay them. I would sew. We hold on a minute. I had it better. I should have should have grabbed a pin. I would sew from this angle to like this corner right here to this corner right here, and then that way when I open it up, it turns into a perfect forty five degree angle. So this would be you know sewn down. And then you can actually turn it to the back, trim the extra extra off, and it looks like this on the outside. Yep. So and then see. I could open it up so you could you want yeah, to shoot it this way. Yep. So that's after it's trimmed. That's after it's trimmed. And look okay. on the other side, so you can see it. So there's your angle. And there's your forty five degree angle. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason you do that is the bulk is then spread out. Um, if the seam was up and down, and you folded that over, that's when you get more of a lump. Whereas when you do it this way, it lays flatter on your quilt, okay? Um, the other part of the instructions that are on that um, sheet of paper, on that uh, binding, is how to do the, um, I call it the no-show finish. And um, those are the steps down here um, where we're actually um, putting uh, binding together, or ends together, um, so that in a 45 degree angle so that you do not see where you start and stop on your binding. And, and again, that's good. Now, one thing I want to point out, Heidi, is that you did, or the girls have, gone ahead and folded and pressed yes. this. Yep, too. and so everything is folded and pressed in half because we're going to eventually line up our raw edges on our quilt top. Now, here's the difference. Um, the instructions that you have are for adding the binding to the top folding it over to the back and hand stitching it on the back. Mm -hmm. If you want to completely do it by machine, then you want to add it to the back, fold it over to the front and machine stitch it from the front side. And um, the key to that and making it look good is that the th color of thread that you are top stitching the quilt down with is is the same color or similar color so that you don't see it to your binding to your binding yes. and then it doesn't um i will say stephanie who works here she's our tuesday gal she is awesome yeah. at machine binding and it simply takes practice it just does take practice and as i've told myself several times binding has not been my favorite thing but it really is just an attitude adjustment on my part because yeah. I prefer machine. I'm not patient, but we know there's a lot of people that love that hand stitching. So if they're going to be hand stitching their binding, 
um, Heidi, we're going to talk a little bit about the tools that you might need when you go to bind, whether it's on the machine. Again, if you have questions about how how am I supposed to do this, can you go over this with me? We we are more than happy to help you if you call or bring your bring your quilt top into the store. We can help you um, know how to finish that binding. So if again, if you're stitching it by machine, your raw edges of your binding are lining up with the raw edges of your outside of your quilt on the back side. If you're hand stitching, it's opposite. You're going from the top to the back. But let's talk a little bit about some of the tools that help with binding. Absolutely. And I just have to say thank you to all of you who are tagging your friends and sharing the post. We really appreciate that. That's awesome. One question is, we that do we have an app? No, we do not. Oh. We have Heidi, Jamie, <laughs> Stacy, Stephanie, Jackie, uh, Karen, yeah, Leslie. We have, we, have, we have lots of people, but mostly. <laughs> Carol, I mean, yeah. It, it's yeah, we mostly, have no app. Yeah. We have no app. We have us. So we are, you. yeah, it's us. Yeah. It's us. <laughs> like um, it or not. <laughs> yes. And um, uh, it's it's wonderful to see all the people coming on. I love it. I can't even keep up with all the comments. Um, so thank you to mm -hmm. all of you. Oh, um, Millie says she loves binding. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Well, some people love it. So some see. Some people do. I know yeah. Denise was saying how she likes to do it at night. We had a couple of people here last week that said they just yep. love to sit in front of the TV yep. at night and do it. Good for you. Yeah. I'm proud of you. That's right. Maybe it'll rub off on me. All right, so let's talk about tools that are helpful in binding. Oh, who does not love a wonder clip, right? The wonder clips are awesome. Um, this is the big 100 pack because once you have them and you, you're going to find uses for them that you didn't know. Even your hair. I've even, yes, I've been known yeah. to put them in my hair. But if you want to start with a smaller pack, we do have the rainbow and the red because, of course, I love red. So we had, and Jamie does too, we yeah. had to have some of those. So the Wonder Clip, great stocking stuffers. Absolutely. Yes. And that helps, in, uh, even on this one, they kind of show the picture, how you can clip it. On your binding, especially if you're um, hand stitching, I think it helps a lot uh, to clip it on there and work ahead mm -hmm. with your binding to make sure mm -hmm. you're ahead of it with the yep. clips. Um, uh, uh, Victoria is asking us if we use a specific stitch when we add our binding. Oh, good and um, I do not use a specific stitch. Um, I just use a, the normal straight stitch, but a walking yeah. foot. Um, mm -hmm. is a great addition to your domestic mo sewing machine in order to bind it um, and get all of that bulk through. Yeah. And if you don't know what a walking foot is, um, every every sewing machine has feed dogs on the bottom um, underneath your presser. That's the little thing that goes... Yeah, it's help. Yeah, it's got a little rough. It's rough, and it helps pull the fabric through. Well, basically, what a, a walking foot is is it makes a that rough that same feed dog on the top so that it's pulling all of your fabric through at the same rate, evenly um, e as evenly yeah. as possible. And so, walking feet are available for most sewing machines, and there's even some generic ones. So check with your local sewing machine dealer yeah, to find them. We, we don't sell them. Yep. Nope, we don't sell nope, them. Nope. Okay. okay, if you're doing hand sewing and hand sewing the um, the uh, uh, the uh, binding. Get it? Yep. A binding on, you might need a new thimble, and I love uh, these colorful so ones. So these ones are silicone with the yep. metal tip on them. Yes. Okay. But I do have to tell you, my favorite today still is the leather coin thimble. Um, I get to the, mine is so worn that um, it fits to my finger. So well that like I forget I have it on and I'll be doing something I'm like oh yeah still wearing my thimble yeah all right and my favorite sewing needles I talked about these last night for a minute um, mm -hmm. these are the gold clover gold eye embroidery needles and they work well they've got a nice sharp point there's different sizes so you can use for different things and, and oh my gosh I must say this is one of it, really honestly it should be one of my our favorite tools it's, yes because uh, it's USB. So it's chargeable. Yes. Portable. I showed it last night in oh, my yeah. sewing room. Yeah. And, and how it and they, can stand yeah. on its own and it can be clipped to something. The neck is bendable. And it works well in the car. If yep. You're oh, hotels. In your car. Yep. Um, in the hotel. Yeah. Like if I, you know how lamps are in a hotel. Oh, yeah. You know, so yeah. I'm always uh, taking mine along yeah. with. Or too. on your couch if you need a little bit and, more light. Hey, and nobody, nobody is late. Do not give yourself some grace, Jeannie. <laughs> this is, you are not late to the show. Don't worry. Um, you can always go back and rewatch what you've got. But We're just um, glad to have you. Yes, I love, love it. Keep the comments coming. You're entertaining us as we go. Yes. Okay, so um, other helpful things when we're finishing quilts mm -hmm. is a long measuring tape. 
because we have to at some point be measuring mm -hmm. things and it's nicer to have that measuring tape um, to with the length and this is 120 inches yeah, and it's, and it's a, an inexpensive little stocking stuffer that you could give yourself or just buy and have in your stash to, or tools to use. You'd yes. be surprised how much you pull out the long one versus just the regular short one. That's right. So, that's, that's absolutely right. Okay. okay. How are we doing? Whew. Any questions? Make sure you're asking. Uh, I was going to say, because we've got a lot. I some see some people thumbs adding. Thumbs up, a little hello wave. And that's right. Jan, Jan yeah. is adding some things to her um, Christmas list. So yeah. I love that. Very good. And, um, uh, and Millie is actually hand quilting while she's watching, yeah. which is a great segue into let's talk about how we could finish our quilts. Okay. So let's grab, let's grab a sample though. How about we show your, and grab your version, oh, my version okay. of um, square the dance. square dance. Okay. okay. So square dance uh, is the project that we've been working on for the last four weeks. Some of you have it long done. Some of you have done more than one in the last couple of weeks. Some of you could do more than one in the next couple of weeks before the upload deadline of December 16th. Let's start with yours. <laughs> Let's start with yours because I think it'll be fun to see. Okay. And I'll bit. set mine over here because we'll have... Um, so, uh, there are three ways I'm going to say, I'm going to say three big ways that you could finish hand quilting is one of them. There are a lot of people who still very much enjoy the process. Um, it is not necessarily a fast process, right. um, depending on how fast you're, you know, you're mm -hmm. good at that, but some people just enjoy the that hand, the quilting, hand yeah. work. And I, and, and I it's, never it's really beautiful. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. to do embroidery and I love to do hand applique, those kinds mm -hmm. of things. I am not fast at it, but I enjoy the process right. of it. So, so hand quilting, there are very few groups um, that do hand quilting anymore. I do have an Amish friend that does some hand quilting, mm -hmm. but it's still limited um, as to what she can even accomplish. Right. So it's harder to send it out to somebody. All right, the next way that um, people, of course, can um, finish uh, quilts is tying. Mm -hmm. um, saw somebody in the com creative community post the quilt that they had finished and, that and was so tied. Heidi would you explain more what a tying is tying is using some type of a thread mm -hmm. um, whether it be a six strand DMC floss or a yarn where they literally um, have layered a backing batting and the top so they have what you might refer to as the sandwich mm -hmm. and they have decided to go in and take that thread it's usually again a thicker thread and um, there's basically, different ways of doing it, but yeah. basically you go down and back up and create a snot and a stitch in there to hold the layers. To hold together. those layers, so you end up usually with some kind of a tail. Yep. Um, some people cut them really short. Some people cut them longer. All sorts of things. Some people might mm -hmm. put buttons on them. Yep. Um, that kind of thing. But tying is a, a a an inexpensive way. Now, if you were tying, you have to do a whole different kind of layering method. Um, as far as making sure your layers are tight, we're not going to get into that. Fusible batting could be helpful. We'll talk about that in a little mm -hmm. bit, uh, but that's another option. Okay, next we've got machine quilting, and you could do it three ways. Domestic, meaning that's your home sewing mm -hmm. machine. We refer to it as a domestic sewing machine. And there are a lot of people that do um, great domestic sewing mm -hmm. machine tips. Yep. We do not teach those classes right. here, um, and uh, we do not, I don't use mine because I would I for would quilting use I'd arm, use the yeah. long arm so we we don't we're definitely <laughs> a little anything larger than a table a table runner and yeah. even table runners I still put on the long yeah arm that's exactly time, right so, yeah. um and like the girls tonight were actually quilting layers of fabric to use to a... use in a bag mm -hmm. so it wasn't like they were really quilting a quilt right. but they were quilting it okay that's a whole other thing all right so then when we come to long arming um, a long arm quilting machine is typically a bigger throat um, size. That's the space between the needle and the back of the machine. A domestic machine might be seven to nine inches. Some of them are getting bigger kind of thing, but you know, it's not very big. Mm -hmm. um, but a long arm is like 24, 30 inches, depending. Ours is a 24. Um, and uh, then and, you could, yeah. but you and could send them out. You can send them out, yep. Mm -hmm. And we have professionals that would help you. Right. Um, or, of course, uh, we could teach you how to do it here. We're going to talk a little bit more mm -hmm. about that in a minute. Yep, yep. But hey, without further ado, okay. let's I get, let's they, show. I bet they want to see. Yes. Okay, so, so this is Jamie's version. And, and you might have seen I mean, her scraps. Heidi, like, like, you're going to have to tell me. Okay, let me go around. Let me go around real quick and make sure that I can see all can of it. See? Oh, yes. I tell you to hold it up a little higher, but I don't know that, you know, 
take one step, one step back, one step back so they can see the whole thing. There you go. There you go. Um, to see the whole thing. And isn't that beautiful? Up close, I love how she fussy cut her strips that have words on them so that um, you can actually, they're all facing the same way. So I love, right? Can you see right here? It says, wear, wear a smile um, between my fingers right there. I love that because um, she did all sorts of focus on the good, good vibes, and then very scrappy. Now, Jamie, what did you do? Um, because your quilt is slightly larger. Yeah, mine is slightly larger. So I just added uh, one more uh, two and a half inch strip of two and one more of the four and a half inch bots. And so um, it was just using up some scraps. And, I, you know, at some point you can keep going forever because it was so much fun to do. But so it is a little bit larger. I wanted it larger because of my what I'll call my focus fabric. Mm -hmm. I had a half a yard of my focus fabric and I wanted to use all of that as much as yep. I could. Yep. So I didn't want to leave that out because it's kind of my focus mixed in into the um, yes. quilt in itself. So adorable. Yeah, absolutely adorable. Now I went a tad bit bigger. Yeah, I had, I, you may have remember back in the fabric selection, mm -hmm. uh, mine was uh, some pre-cuts and I went using the pre-cuts as they were so that I could get a king size quilt. And um, it is, uh, it it's still I won't be able to, progress. I, you won't be right, and I won't, you won't be you. able to see the whole thing because it's huge. Um, and <laughs> Jamie, you Show see part it. of it here. Let, I can oh, move let's the, see if I can get, hold on. Uh, let's see I'll move the camera. This. I don't even know if you can hold it, Heidi. You need somebody else to no, hold it. No, I can, you but can okay. you get the yep. gist of it? I think you can get the gist of it, right? Yep. So and so, I again, doubled... you you did yours a little bit to, without the smaller rows. Correct. I instead, um, because I had these five-inch squares, can I show it? I did a double of the tens, a double of the fives, and then I did a single of the five, double five, double ten, and I went and did that twice so that um, I could get it big enough to put on our king size bed. So mine is, I definitely did not go smaller than the pattern recommended. <laughs> um, so we're gonna lay that up there. Um, I will probably have to have it professionally quilted because it is a little too big for ours, um, our machine here but certainly has been fun. And, and, uh -huh. and Heidi, when you're going like that, and, and people are certainly impressed that it's king size, but again, this pattern went together nicely. And yes. it's a way to, if you are trying to get a king size done, you know, I love piecing. I love the small piecing. Yes. But that does take a while. If you feel that's too much for you, this would be a great way to expand something a little larger right. on an a, a easier scale. Right. And there's definitely less some time consuming less scale. definitely some different variations. Mm -hmm. I have to call out Jan um yeah. uh, who is watching tonight and I did put her um quilt uh, along with several others of yours uh -huh. in the newsletter today. And I loved how she used a panel and then she reversed she put the like the 8 inch squares as the second row and the five four and a half inch squares whatever on the top row the four patches kind of thing, because she obviously was trying to focus on her blocks. Right. And I thought it was a great variation of just flopping those right. two rows. So good there's, job, Jan. You know, I can't wait to see you quilt it. There's always creative opportunities in these yes. things. Yeah. Yes. So that was really fun. But then, so if I have my, I have my quilted or my top, I'm ready to start the quilting or finishing process. So then our next thing that we really got to start thinking about is, how am I going to finish it? We've talked about the different options you have. Yes. You and I will both do a, a long arm machine. Uh, yes. Okay. So, so how does it work? Because some people do not know. Okay. We, we literally have a 10 foot long arm quilting machine. Mm -hmm. It's an APQS. And we'll built, show it. So and we'll show it in a minute. This. It's built um, right here in Iowa, which is very, I think, mm -hmm. exciting for us, but they sell them all across the world. Um, I used to work for them full time. That's how I became a mm -hmm. fan of those machines. Um, but uh, what we do here is we teach you how to. You start the um, set change. Yeah, absolutely. You start the set change. I'll keep talking. We'll try not to drop things, all that kind of stuff. Um, and you tell me if I need to move the camera. Okay. Um, so uh, when we're using the long arm quilting machine, we have to teach you how to use it, right? 
So we have what we call a long arm certification class. We can't click anything tonight. Um, you would have to, to, to get you to the link. The link is would be on the classes tab, a long arm quilting, and then you'd find all of our long arm certification classes. It's $135 and it is a three hour class. Uh, we like to, I like to describe it as the foundation of what you're going to do because I can't make you an expert in those three hours. Jamie and I tag team um, teach that. Only two students ever in the class because we try to give you as much hands-on work on the machine as well as much as much one-on-one um, -on -one teaching, if you want to say one-on-two -on -two teaching as we possibly can. Uh, I did just uh, yesterday post classes for January, February, and March, and you start moving and I'll just walk with you and I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring the next piece of equipment right along. This is how we do set changes here at Hen and Chick Studio. You tell me when we're going to stop. Um, so if you like to sign up for a class, again, there's only two, um, two uh, students per class. And um, uh, we've got them all scheduled at the moment, like at nine o'clock from nine to noon on the days that, uh, that I have selected. Um, if, you know, if absolutely none of those can work for you in the next three months and you're really wanting to take the class, call us. We're willing to work with you. It's just a matter of scheduling and making sure that we get that um, scheduled. Uh, if some of you, I know, um, uh, Millie has taken the class, Jan has taken the class, Deb, I see those names right away. By all means, jump on and tell people um, uh, what it is that you love about finishing your quilts. And I think um, I am proud and I, I'd like to be humble about most things, but I do have to say I'm very proud of the customer service that we offer mm -hmm. uh, to our long arm renters. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we're even becoming known as a place to come for education, even if yeah, somebody owns machine. their own mm -hmm. machine. And that is not... Um, uh, uh, that's not a problem. Right. We don't have we don't have any kind of problem that if you come and take the long arm certification class because you need more information, we certainly understand that and realize that you may never come back and rent. Um, but if that information helps you and makes you a better quilter, then we're glad um, to be able to do that. Yeah. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit more about the long arm in a bit here. And I know, again, we're going to try to keep the tempo going just a bit because we're going to run out of time. Um, and we want to be no. respectful of that. No. <laughs> no. We never have too much to say around here. Okay. Way. Okay. But finishing. So now my top is finished. Your top is finished. We need to start thinking about what we're putting on the back of it. And I'm going to scan right now. Here's a, a free downloadable, again, chart about how to figure your backing yep. fabric and i think we'll skip my little diagram yeah. drawing tonight yep. i love to do draw diagrams draw never hesitate to call yeah. me i will text <laughs> you pictures of them if we're on the yep. phone but it's just a guide to help you kind of make those calculations and help you figure that mm -hmm. out yep. but we have a lot of wide backs right and so should we just do you want me to you want look at the camera and me yeah should we go through some yeah. of these so let's go through and one oh. thing i do want to say and heidi might just start clicking them yes, because if you bring your quilt top in of course here let's come to this one real quick because if you bring your quilt top in oops scan again i wonder if i can do it that way no i think somebody will see there you go. There. Okay. So then you can see I can start laying it out over the top of it. Again, move it over here. Just and I'm just going to click so through some of these them. as Jamie is showing you so okay. that you can see the variety of wide backs that we have um, so here. Then I can start comparing. This is 108 wide back, so it's cotton. But remember, we also have the cuddle, and I'm that one actually matches pretty well, right? So one thing to consider as well, on mine, it's small enough that I could still come over here and I, I don't even know why, but this color matches really good too. And I could still use one of the cottons, the Shannons, the Cuddles, uh, even the 60 inch wide because I could lay my quilt top on that. But one thing you do need to consider if you're going to use the Cuddle is the C3 is 90 um, and this is 60. The Lux is 60. Now, Heidi, if she wanted to use a cuddle on her back, it really wouldn't be the best choice because of the mm -hmm. size of her it would, quilt. It would be like a weighted blanket by the be, time we got done. So that's something that but you need flannel, to keep in mind. A flannel be a might be option. more appropriate yep. to have a soft yep. back, but not feel like um, that it was so heavy. Yeah. And so um, something like this is also, if we get it, try again. I'm moving it while she's trying to get it. I think you guys on the top. 
There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna go on the top. This is a super fun piece, and I'm kind of going along with the theme again. I could go something like this on mine. Doesn't mean that's what I'm gonna do, but this one it has words, and I love words. True friendship, be a good friend. Just a fun, uh, maybe a little different white back. I also think you could use this for top, uh, piecing your top and make it a focus back uh, on that as well. And uh, you know what I wonder if the problem is? Is there other, another barcode on there? On, no, it's not on that one. Maybe you're just not holding it right, Heidi. Uh, you know, it's totally possible as I hit Would the you camera. Like me to, you try? You try it. There, okay. I got that one. You got that one. Yep, okay. the last and so bit. talk a little bit more about some of those. And let's show these ones, Heidi, right here. These are brand new ones that Jamie is showing here. Um, uh, when we're uh, talking about that they're wide backs, do we say that 108 inches? There are a few that are more than that. Um, this is literally brand new. I'm going to pull the plastic off. Um, some of, of course, some wide backs are completely um, a repetitive, but there are some that are not, or, or the repeat is bigger. And we just got these in for a completely different look. Sure they saw them all. Then. And check out that beautiful print. Beautiful, beautiful print. And that is 108 inch wide. These are from Moda. And it is, uh, that one is called, I think that's called Navy, I think. I kind of showed that one. That's right. And this is the teal uh, version of that. There is a beautiful pink piece. There. They're kind of watercolory, like uh, like water has splashed. Um, hey there, and and then a very pretty black. And I'm not. I scanned those earlier as she showed you. But we have a lot of what we would call semi solids. Uh, but we also yeah. have some fun prints such as this that come in and bring in a lot of different colors. You can see that one a little bit. And and. The, it's like weightlifting. This is our this is our exercise program here at Hen and Chicks. And we know we're just kind of scanning through these to give an idea. Um, we know some of you are looking to finish your quilts and giving you an idea of some of the products that we do have in there. Go ahead and scan this one. Oh, one yeah. of the things we have this talked about, really and um, and I think is a very uh, cool idea. And I did this several years ago, and it so it, it is works. Put cotton on one side and C3 cuddle or the or the other on the other side but literally because that's 90 inches wide um, if you needed a 90 by 100 and 100 inch quilt you'd buy three yards 108 inches of C3 and then you could buy um, the same let's see no if it's uh, if you need it to be 108 <laughs> inches three yards uh, well roughly 90 inches um, I can't remember now my calculation sorry I had it in my head it would be three and a fourth yards and you'd end up with a 90 by 110. So that's what it is. And then you could pick a color on the back and it, gorgeous and just have them quilted and bound and very, very pretty for making different kinds of quilts. So Jamie continues to go through yep. some of these and I fun. This one I just pulled up right now, Buffalo plaid as you're finishing your Christmas thing. Oh my some gosh. Colors that we have for that. Yes. And uh, let's see, did we do, we also have a couple of ombre. The other thing, did you talk about using these? Here, here we're both doing different things. Um, did you talk about using them in blocks? Uh, a little bit in the blocks or as a big uh, piece. I'm going to switch right over to this. I'm going to turn the camera just a tiny bit, kind of show them. But we used a wide back in the, in the center. center. And so you can see this ombre that we just put up. Uh, Kathy, um, I, can, I know she bought some of this and put mm -hmm. it into a quilt and it was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous to be able to play with. There's a second ombre color on that one too. Yes, there is. So, so many pretty things um, when it comes to uh, the wide backs. So certainly get your download of your um, free backing chart. Uh, that certainly you want to click that again. There you go, so that you it pops up there again. So you've got your free yardage chart, uh, and that would make it um, super simple. Uh, a couple of things I also want to talk about are terms um, that might be important, whether you quilt your quilt or whether you have somebody else quilt it. I always think that it is um, 
you are going to get the best work out of a professional long armor if you know how to talk with them. And you know, I know it's like, do whatever you want um, is a lot of times what is said. And there's a lot of trust in your long armor, but sometimes the result isn't what you wanted. And it's important for you to understand that you, if you understand the words, um, and so a lot of times I think in our long arm certification class, that's exactly what we're doing is that we're going through and helping you be more knowledgeable. So a couple of words I wanna throw out for your vocabulary lesson tonight. Edge to edge. Edge to edge means that you are quilting from one edge of the quilt to the other in a specific um, pattern. Now, that pattern might be meander. It might be a loop, um, a loop and a swirl kind of thing, doesn't matter. Or it could be much more detailed like a snowflake or a, I was looking to see if I had something I should have, um, or a circle or a bird, um, all sorts of different motifs that we can use that would be edge to edge. Typically, most of you, if you're using a professional, that is what you are having quilted. Um, certainly the density of the size um, of which that, uh, that pattern is quilted uh, can usually um, make a difference in how much it costs. Uh, some long armors, professional long armors charge by the hour, meaning that if it takes them a long time to quilt something really dense, you're gonna pay more versus if it's bigger and wider, then you're not gonna pay you know, quite as much kind of thing. Um, but uh, again, it's a different look. We have a great example in the store. There's a flannel quilt up front uh, that was quilted very densely and it's the exact same pattern of another quilt that we had quilted. So you can see the variety um, of what, a what we're talking about when we say density. Um, but uh, it would have cost a lot more to have had that quilt because it just takes time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little closer so you can hear me while Jamie is um, finishing up and getting the quilt um, ready to go. Uh, the girls got it, I think mostly loaded. Oh, um, and so, uh, oh, there might be. It should be, it was a big piece. I think it's all right, I think you're okay. okay. Um, so, so, so just try to make sure everything is ready for you. Um, to quilt just a little bit. Okay. Um, and oh, Jean, uh, Jean, you are right. Wide backs save a ton of time because you do not have to piece them together. Unfortunately, the negative of wide backs is we don't always have them in the fabrics that match the collections that we get in. So if you want your quilt back to match your quilt top, then a lot of times we do have to go to the 44, 45 inch wide and piece them. Okay, so um, then I wanna use another term. So edge to edge motifs, and you can get edge to edge in thousands of different designs. So if you want footballs, if you want snowflakes, if you want you know ships, uh, my gosh, uh, whatever you want, arrows, if you want cyclone, like a, you know, a sigh head or a herky head kind of thing, just ask your professional long armor what they have available because edge to edge designs are available in literally thousands of different designs. All right, another word, pantograph, okay? A panto is literally an edge to edge design, but it's talking about how it's quilted on the machine. It's when you're standing at our long arm and Jamie, I'm gonna maybe turn this around. Okay. okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a little um I'm gonna turn around. Hold on, just bear with me as I do a little set change here. Then I'm gonna double check and you're gonna see my nose there. Sorry, sorry, double checking that I can actually see. Uh, uh, there we go. We're gonna get it this way. Give me oh, I'm stuck on the chair. Just give me a second. All right. Okay, and now I'm gonna turn this so I can see. Set change, set change. Okay, um, so as we are looking at the machine here, um, a panto, uh, this is a pantograph actually laying right here in the machine. And there are lines and there's even arrows on this meander as to how it should follow. And uh, can I see the long head? Not quite this way. If you poke, this is a laser light um, that we can actually then trace um, that pattern to get the motif that you're wanting. 
Um, some people love pantographs. Some people hate pantographs. It really is a personal um, preference. Uh, Jamie is the one who teaches the class because it's not my <laughs> gig. It's like a right hand, right brain, left brain thing. I know and understand how to do them, but it's not my favorite thing to do. Um, but for some people, it's awesome. And I have to call out Carol, who is one of our regular renters. And I'm going to, I mean, she won't mind because she tells every, you know, tells people this. She had a stroke and it left her without her peripheral vision. And so when she quilts, if she were on that side of the machine, she would have to be seeing where she's going and stuff versus if she's on the panto side, she can focus right on the light, right on the line. And she does. And, it, and she does job. awesome, awesome work. We are amazed yeah. by her every time she's here. Yes. Uh, she's always get, getting a ton of things done. And so, um, so, okay, uh, let's see, any questions? Oh, uh, thank you for the pretty quilt on the wall. And that's actually perfect timing and perfect going into the third terminology that I want to use for you. And that is custom quilting. Uh, I did not do this. This was done by Liz Myman of a quilting uh, memory, a quilted memory, excuse me. And uh, as you can see, when you custom quilt, then every block has more detailed, um, detailed quilting in it. And so you are paying more uh, for this Oops. type of quilting. I felt this is one that the girls made and I felt like the solid colors, or these are actually hand dyed fabrics from cherry wood, um, that, that it required beautiful quilting. And I did say, Liz, do whatever you want. Um, but I put a little, um, I did a little, uh, I'll say safety, is that I don't like to have different colored threads on the back of my quilt. That's a personal preference, right? So I selected a beautiful wide back. Uh, I think, that we're, are we out of this one now? Oh, yeah, I think we I think be. maybe we are because we, maybe, I don't know, I can't remember if it's back there or not. But it's a one we've had um, because I, it wouldn't bother me what color thread. Now, they chose all black thread. Um, and but it is still uh, just a gorgeous, um, gorgeous quilt. So super excited about that. And that is custom quilted. And so when you are thinking about custom quilting, you of course are also thinking about the cost. So that certainly is um, something that you want to be considering. All right. So, Jamie, are we going to show just a little yep. bit of long army? Do you yep. want to switch places and I go behind the camera? Well, I think if you go that way, we can just come this way and... Yeah, do ignore our offices back yep. there. Yep. Yep. So, on a long arm quilt, so, again, you can custom quilt without a digital machine. You can do, you can custom quilt on the long arm free motion. So, what we're doing is free motion. Um, and there's a lot of these things and tips that will come to play if you take our long arm certification class where we'll teach you loading the tips to make it successful um, and then you get a run. And so the advantage to this versus your domestic machine, just a little play if you're wondering, this is like writing with a pencil, right? I'm moving the tip of the machine where if I'm quilting a quilt on my domestic machine, I have to move my quilt with, into the needle, the needle is stationary this the needle moves so the difference if you've never seen a long arm or heard a long arm before um, i think a very simple thing to do is uh the girls have set it up they basted uh, all again all these things but i'm just going to start the machine and heidi you might have to talk because i will closed. i'll stand right here yeah. so we're working on an apqs millennium just to tell you this machine is a 2005 and uh, one of the things i love about a millennium or about the apqs brand um, is that uh, if you take good care of it, you're, you're going to last for a long time. So I do not feel the need to upgrade um, to the most current. But just again, to put it into perspective why we charge $135 for the class and then to a rent is $25 per hour with a minimum of two hours, is that if I were to buy this machine and all of the bells and whistles on it brand new today, we're looking at $30,000. So it's an expensive machine. But in a matter of minutes, um, literally, Jamie will have a portion of this quilted and it, um, we can absolutely, um, you know, do a variety of designs as she was saying. So that part is uh, very, very nice for us. Uh, if you are at all interested in the class, of course, as I said earlier, the classes for the next three months are listed on our website 
and can be signed up for then. Um, if you are have taken the certification class, you can call us anytime and book your time. And either Jamie or I will be here, but we're also making sure that all of our staff um, is becoming versed in the long arm. So Goldie and Stacy and you know uh, uh, several people love to help uh, each other uh, make sure that you can do the long arming. And it, Oh yeah, there, this is like no no white knuckle driving, and, um, and the table's a little high for Jamie. Uh, I could put it down just a little bit. We have a hydraulic lift on here because tall people and short people um, uh, don't all want to quilt at the same height. Is that a little better, Jamie? A little better. And so it is certainly fun to be able to um, see all of that. Um, Oh yes, uh, Jamie is just quilting wavy lines. Um, while she's quilting, I also just wanna talk briefly about the batting. We do carry all the Hobbs products. We always have um, uh, the 120 and the 96 inch wide batting available. We do ship those if necessary, um, but we also have other products like um, the unbleached cotton with scrim. If you wonder why you would need scrim, it's because you um, can quilt farther apart with that. Um, we've also got black batting. Again, why would you do that? If you have a black top and um, uh, black backing and all that, uh, just the nature of long arming uh, batting can poke through and being able to have a black bat uh, can help you with that. We also have fusible batting in two different sizes. Um, if you're doing a lot of table runners, you might want the big one and then cut it up into smaller pieces. Um, but the fusible batting is certainly nice for doing some of the smaller projects, especially if you're going to work in your domestic machine. We also have Thermore in two different sizes. Um, and a lot of people like the Thermore uh, if you are doing like a t-shirt quilt and want a, an extra thin, ultra thin is how they call it, um, batting. And so we've got those in a couple of different sizes. If you have a lot of questions about batting, by all means, we recommend the free batting class that is also on our website under the Inspiration tab and Hen House Happy Hour. Um, and we even have fusible batting strips. So if that's something that you want, you want to turn that way. And so um, certainly uh, those are just a few of the products. Um, oh, and uh, Jan, I'm glad that you, we've... You, we've We've uh, shared something today that you didn't know, um, that we have black batting. So that is wonderful. We try to have all of that, um, all of those things um, available for you. And, oh, and Teresa, absolutely. Wavy lines are awesome um, because uh, that just adds texture. And that quilt is um, the square dance quilt that Goldie and Virginia made from scraps and will be donated. And by all means, um, Ask around. If you don't think anybody needs a quilt, I guarantee you um, that uh, there are people who need quilts. There are. And, and, and I had a very um, uh, heartwarming call last week from somebody who is working um, with in the Fort Dodge Fire Department um, that they were looking for quilts um, because of an incident that had happened mm -hmm. there recently. I talked to somebody else who had just donated quilts to a nursing home because the nursing home wants to make the residents that don't have family more warm and welcome and cozy and holiday spirit for them. Mm -hmm. um, talk to your it local just school. You want to go home and start doing yeah, it. talk to your matter, school. Yeah. There's there are so many places um, where people um, could use a quilt. So if you don't know where um, to donate, ask around, mm -hmm. ask us. We'd be glad yeah. to help you. But there, again, there are so many different things. And so one of the things, and just that little bit while Heidi was talking, I probably got a good quarter of, of that, the of the quilt. So you can see how fast it can go. As yeah. we, and, and I wasn't being, um, I could be more detailed, but in this situation, it's being- It's, it's texture. It's texture and it's a very mm -hmm. busy quilt. So the quilting is just 
finishing it yes versus the custom clothes. yes and so thank you for staying with us we're not yeah. done yet yeah. we hope and i'm going to turn my notes around um we're not quite done yet we have a few more things sorry about that i'm making the the, <laughs> the stand change here but i gotta have my list so i don't forget anything but we do have a few more things so hang with us just a little bit longer in fact we've got one more exciting thing but a couple of things to remind you of if you are participating in the festive fun sew along December 16th, like at midnight, <laughs> is the last day for uploading your picture. That um, a picture of your finished top. It does not have to be bound, you know, quilted and bound, but your mm -hmm. top must be completed, though. The top um, uh, to our the link that we have on the Stash Buster page. And then on the 19th, don't know yet exactly what time, but some at some point on the 19th, we'll have an awards show and we'll let yeah. we'll uh, post that awards when we're banquet. getting awards banquet maybe oh. we can drink during it can we can well, we, we can, can we have yeah we could have appetizers and cocktails. oh yeah. yeah oh should we get dressed up yeah yeah okay see. maybe yeah I don't know. okay so we've got that or so it could be morning yes brunch yes yeah all right for the last month and a half two months we have been doing all sorts of different times and um uh, different ways of trying this new platform out and we're mm -hmm. loving it. Yeah. We're loving the opportunity We're we've learned so much. We love that you're patient with us. We're who knows we we cannot be predictable. I mean, <laughs> seriously, we are not predictable, yeah. are we? But we do want to have a little bit of predictability, a yes. little bit of of um, I'll say regular regular thought schedule. regular schedule. So starting on December 14th, we are going to go live every Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. Okay. Now, if that's not a time that is convenient for you, don't worry. It's all going to be in the replay that you will be able to right. see later on the mm -hmm. live shopping page. But that will be, again, that will be our regular guaranteed. So if, if all, I was going to say, <laughs> else fails. Else fails. Oh, yes. Say that. Yes. If all else fails, you'll know that on Wednesday morning at nine o'clock, we're going to do a live. Now, there might be some weeks we pop up I'm every crying. day because yeah. we do. Yeah. Um, but uh, just want to make sure that you know that there's that one for sure. Okay. Yeah. So that's a regular. Now, are we down to the fun part? Mm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yes, we are. we are. Okay. We are. Okay. We've had so much fun doing the sew along and have had so much response from people about the information that we're providing mm -hmm. and all of the different things that I'm going to say that we do talk about that we've decided to do another so long. We don't have a name for it. No, we got to come oh, up with something. Oh, we don't have a name for it. Well, we'll come up with something. Okay. But it's a little bit different because we've also um, get a lot of requests for certain patterns. Mm -hmm. And this is a pattern that um, it has gotten a lot of play. Should right. we should we turn the camera one more time? Yeah, we will. Here. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. yep. All right. One thing I'll say about it when we were talking about it, it it it's not going to be exactly a repeat because this pattern is. Oh, we've already got a whole list of new things to talk yeah, about. It, it gives us new opportunities yeah. of different things to but talk about. But we're going to format it the same way. Mm -hmm. The videos that we do that we're calling our, you know, our weekly videos, that they're still going to be free. They're still going to be live on Facebook, that kind of thing. But in this particular project, this particular sew along, the pattern will not be a free download. It will be a $10 pattern. I already know that many of you happen to own this pattern because again, we sell a lot of it. Um, can you can you see yet? Mm, okay. I'm getting I'm gonna, close. I'm gonna go over here. Maybe somebody's getting a guess. If I okay. do this, maybe somebody's gonna, getting I'm a guess. I'm gonna stand over here and I'm gonna go like this. Anybody got guesses yet? Well, we, now she just scanned it, I so you should it. know. I can't sit to hold the suspense any longer. We are going to do a four-week so long with hat, hat, hooray! And we had very much fun a couple of years ago doing this. Jamie made the Iowa State version of that. There is a different pattern called I'm Frosty that Fun is. that is in the Hawkeyes yeah. to give but equal why playing we, time. We narrowed it down to this one. Because, because it has more... Um, the Frosty Fun is one size and one size only. Hat, hat, hooray, just like all of 
Terry's Patterns uh, at Atkinson Designs has four different sizes, which allows you to do a variety of things with that. And so we wanted to have fun. So if you own the pattern, then you're already set to go. If you do not own the pattern, we'd love to have you follow along and get this pattern. You've got plenty of time. The first live video is going to be Thursday, January 6th, and the four Thursdays in January are going to be our videos um, for um, all of this stuff. And I'm telling you, we've already got a to-do list of things that you got it in there we don't want. Um, all right. And so, oh, and thank you. Um, uh, uh, oh yes, and you're gonna be playing in your stash, and glad that you're having fun, Joan. And oh, and this all is another great pattern yep. that works well for your stash as well. Oh, it's great because for the you stash. You can see up there with the one that we showed you before, or even in this, there's a lot of variety. And I think Heidi already mentioned there, it does use some fat border. Yep. So for fun. Okay, because so so of course, if you are want to following along with us, of course, with the with the Iowa State, right? We've already got a fat quarter bundle that you could pull from. Um, we do also have the Hawkeye. Now we do have a U and I, and we do not have we do not have um, the uh, a, a fat quarter bundle. Because but we there's could, only one U and I print. But that's only one, but we could stuff. but we could yeah. work with you on yeah. that if that was okay. okay. Okay, but so then so again it has these multiple sizes on it. So eight, 11, 15, or nineteen fat quarters for the different sizes. Uh, one of the reasons we chose that is because it is easily expandable. You could use all scraps plus background on it, which would be really fun. Actually, a lot of the fabrics I used in mine would work really cute in that. Oh, it'd be so cute. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so if you I make the pulled, small size. If I the small size, it calls for eight fat quarters. So I started with this, which I love this basic, with pink ladies is what we called it, because uh, Stacy and I were in a singing grease one day, so we, uh, grease song, so we had that. Okay, so fun with that. So I could do that, or if and, I wanted, and oops, I'm gonna go I'm gonna say this right now because Kathy has already asked what size is gonna be required. It can be any of the four sizes in this particular sew along. Um, we're opening that up to so the the biggest the smallest has to be the nap, uh, which is 53 by 65, and then you can go larger from yep. there. So the smallest would be 53 by 65. And, and then it and goes each, up. And it has a different number of hats, so that's going to be fun to see. The one on the wall happens to be the lap size, which is 62 by 77. So that one calls for uh, 11 fat quarters. So then you could combine, as you can see, so same collection, pretty. Summer Lovin' and Pink Ladies fat quarter bundles for something really super cute. Or maybe I want to do the lap and do something that's more printed. Okay. Or wouldn't this be fun? So now I've opened myself up to this possibility because this has seven, seven, six, and eight, if I remember correctly. Yep. And each of them have different fat quarter, but it's eight, 11, 15, or 19. So then I can start to play, oh, look at this. Maybe I wanna make the bigger size and use those two bundles mm -hmm. together. I don't know if you can see it, hopefully you can. Maybe I wanna use these two bundles together or maybe i want to use all three of them together so just a lot of fun absolutely to start the project. And, and linda is asking are we going to have a lot of patterns and bay patterns available yes absolutely we will have plenty of patterns available and i know we can get them pretty darn quick yeah. um so not to worry i have a i have an in at atkinson designs i know i can get them shipped quickly if i needed to yeah um but we're pretty excited oh yeah about that <laughs> So the minimum size that you would have to make is the 53 by 65. Um, again, we just thought it would be fun because we get so many requests about this and we've had so many comments about the um, the videos we've been done doing been doing in the last month. And who hasn't had fun, right? Have you had fun doing it? That's right, tell us, yeah. are you having fun? And so again- Maybe everybody could buy, invite a friend. Absolutely. They can make and, it a challenge between their friends. And somebody, and I don't remember now, I apologize who, because the comments continue to go along, said they've always wanted to do this pattern. Now they have a reason to do yeah. it. Now they have a deadline. Yeah. Because if you then upload um, your finished top by February 6th, you're again going to have a chance for prizes. Yeah. yeah. So, so we're excited about that because we've both made 
Heidi made the different version of it, but it still had the hats in it. Um, and it's a fun pattern to do. Once you get started, yes. it's one of those things too. And putting the hats together in different oh, ways. Oh yeah, so many. Around is so fun. Oh, yeah. so many options. So that is the exciting news. We were so glad that you've hung in there with us tonight. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we have gone through a lot tonight. Absolutely. And and we love doing that because we know that um, uh, our job is to inspire you. We feel that you are getting what you, you're getting that inspiration because you're telling us um, how much you love it. And mm -hmm. thank you. Um, keep telling us what it is that you like that we're doing um, because that is helpful to us to help make sure that we get to you mm -hmm. what you need. Absolutely. Okay. Is there anything that we need to go back and, and yeah. read? If there is, iterate? we'll get it another time. You can go back and uh, scroll through that list. We know we showed several of our wide backs, just clicking through them to give you an idea of the variety we have. We were not able to touch on all of them, um, nor did we even show you all of them in the click list. So just make sure you come in and check those out or on the website if you have any questions. Remember, we also have the Lux Cuddle and the uh, C3. Oh, yeah. Oh, and definitely check out the binge watching of YouTube that we have, that I created. Lots there's, of ideas. Talking about the scarves yep. and all sorts of things. It's yep. all, all fun, all good inspiration. Well, I posted this up again okay. so that you can um, get this uh, pattern if this is something, if you want to get that ordered. And, I, you know, I guess I um, make sure that I turn it so that we make sure we have plenty for you and may order. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joanne uh, right. commented that mm -hmm. Atkinson designs are always easy to follow. And that is the truth. Oh, so Her good. instructions are so well written. Written, um, that uh, really anybody can follow them and there's always plenty of fabric yep um, all that kind of stuff yeah. so well I think it is time to wrap this up yeah we could keep going on we could for hours we could but, but we are so glad that you've come to for you to get busy doing something that's right <laughs> that's absolutely right we're glad you spent the last hour plus um, with us here at Hen and Chick studio in Conrad Iowa mm -hmm. and if you can't come to see us in person we're glad you're here with us online yes. and until the next time be creative